After learning that Pierre is completely willing to take credit for all of my hard work, I decided it would be fun to take this idea just a little further. Pierre should have a clean inventory now because I've since restarted the game and that seems to clear out anything he's selling. I'm going to talk to a few NPCs just to make sure that's true, and then we're going to cause some mischief. My garden is happy today. Oh, say hi to the wizard next time you're there. The town's dialogue appears to be back to its normal vanilla self. The townspeople are no longer talking about the crappy stuff that I produce and the amazing stuff that Pierre somehow produces. Before we determined that if you sell anything edible, that being forgeables, fish, or crops to either Pierre or Willy, Pierre somehow acquires them after that and then sells them to the town and is willing to take credit for them should it be something good. But I want to know if we can do the same thing for the carpenter shop with Robin for Clint over at the blacksmith. Anyone else? Maybe Sandy in the desert is willing to do the same thing. I'm not done with this idea yet. But the first thing I want to do is skip it to a day where it's not raining. Well there, that's much better. Today we're going to go see Sandy, we're going to sell her 999 something delicious and see if that trickles back into the town. And if Sandy or Pierre is going to take credit for that. Since it's spring, we're going to work with everyone's favorite potatoes. Sandy even gets one as a gift. This looks wonderful, thanks so much. Yes, examine it closely. Take credit for it if you want, everyone else does. We've already hit a roadblock. Sandy cannot buy your produce directly. Pierre can, Willie can, Sandy apparently cannot. But can she buy anything at all? She cannot buy forageables, she cannot buy crafting materials. So I'm assuming Sandy just can't buy anything at all, so that pretty much rules her out of this. That's why no one wants to go and see her in the desert, just saying. Well let's try the carpenter shop. What kind of stuff can Robin buy and will it trickle down to Pierre? She can buy stones. Should we sell her some stones? Do we have anything more exciting? We do have clay. Let's sell her both 999 stones and clay. Now to see if that makes its way around the town or not. It definitely makes its way from Willie to everyone else, just not sure if it's going to happen from these other merchants. We could also try the dwarf. We're going to stop by him real quick just to see if we can sell stuff to him or not. It appears the dwarf can't buy much of anything. I could try something like fish, but I'm just going to go ahead and assume that he can't buy it because he can't seem to buy anything at all. Well, let's give it a few days for those clays and stones to make their way around the town. That way Robin can take credit for them. Which really isn't fair because I obviously worked so very hard to gather those items. People, have you been consuming any of my stones or clay? I wish a team of elves would come during the night and tidy up my house. Am you're very strange. Mom's been complaining ever since Joji Mart closed down. I think it's good for her. Maybe she'll drink less Joji Cola now. Penny, that's just more room for alcohol. Alex, I'm pretty sure, still hates me. I thought we had something special. I guess I was wrong. Another thing we're going to do right now is go and clear all the spouses' memories, because they all hate me right now, so I'm not going to get any dialogue at all out of them. 30,000 gold, and we get a more interesting game. But I couldn't help but notice a few people we did talk to didn't have anything to say about the stone or the clay. Robin does sell stones normally so it wouldn't be a big surprise to see her selling more stones. He's definitely not selling the clay I sold her but it's also not edible. Let's go talk to Pierre and see if he happens to be selling that stuff. Pierre, have you acquired any stones to illegally sell? Nope, nothing. Okay, how about this? We sell something edible to Robin to see if it makes its way to Pierre. Oh yeah, Robin can't really buy anything edible, can she? Unfortunately, I think that pretty quickly rules Robin out of this little idea. She can't buy anything edible and she won't distribute anything else amongst the town. And with that, I guess we'll go ahead and see what Clint can buy. I think he's pretty much the last merchant we can try before we have to get some really creative ideas going. Clint, how are you today? Right away, he can't buy fish, he can't buy sap. He can also not buy dandelions or potatoes. He can't even buy stones. I'm not entirely sure what he can buy. I assume it's just ores and perhaps gems. But I'm pretty sure none of these are actually edible. I could go through the whole list, but there's none that come to mind that are going to be consumable, and it's got to be consumable for the town to eat them, or for Pierre to even acquire them, I believe. Well, interestingly enough, there are stones we can eat, which is very odd to me, but it's a thing that happens, so we can actually feed the town stones for now to keep ourselves entertained in the meantime. Before we poison the town with Pam's favorite tool, I'm going to skip a few days just to make sure the spouse's memories are all nicely wiped clean and we get some more dialogue. Actually, this opens up some more possibilities, because stones are technically a building material, which Robin should be able to buy. So let's go sell her 998 delicious nutritious stones and see if Pierre acquires them from there and then the town eats them. The million dollar question is, will anyone buy these strange stones? Robin sure won't. But she will buy regular stones, that's curious. I'm not even sure what these are qualified as. They are stones, but they are edible, so they're technically a food, I guess? What do the people think of them as gifts? Technically, they're food. Yuck, you thought I would like this? No, I didn't know what to expect. This is disgusting. That was your wife. Have a nice day. I think these were actually an unused item that I can spawn in. There's stone ore in this stone, and apparently that gives you some kind of nutrition. Linus of all people should appreciate that. 
Hey Linus, I found a rock. You can eat it. Isn't that wonderful? Why would you give this to me? Do you think I like junk just because I live in a tent? That's terrible. I think you like junk because that seems to be all of your possessions. Well, hopefully someone's going to buy these stones. They're obviously quite disliked by the town because you give anyone to it as a gift and they hate it. Speaking of which, stones? It smells awful. If I wanted the opinion of old people, I'd watch the news. Marnie likes stones. Don't eat the stone. Give it to Marnie. This is worthless. I don't understand you. That's five in a row. Completely hate those. And Pierre won't buy them. Hmm, that's unfortunate. I don't know if anyone's going to buy these stones at this point. We're going to try Clint because maybe it's considered ore. But we might not be able to actually sell these to anyone, which is really unfortunate because I was really looking forward to feeding the town rocks. Please take my stones. He doesn't want my stones. Willie, please, I need help. This idea is crashing super fast. I guess we didn't try Krobus. We can go down to the sewers and see what he's buying or selling. He does sell things like void eggs, which are technically edible. I'm not sure if he can buy them, but we're going to find out. I really feel at this point like there's only a few merchants that can't even buy stuff from you. Krobus can't really buy much of anything at all. So, interesting. So only edible items will get distributed to the town. That leaves you only two merchants that I can think of. Pierre and Willy. I guess while I'm trying to figure out the next clever step to this whole process, we're going to go sell Pierre avoid eggs, avoid salmon, and avoid mayonnaise to see how much the town likes those. That's normally my go-to. When I run out of ideas, poison the town. Well, he won't buy the void salmon, but I sure know someone that will. Willy, I hope you enjoy 225,000 gold worth of void salmon. And the town is going to love eating those almost as much as I love selling them. Well, at the very least today, we've got a lot more spouses to ask how they like the void stuff because last time I couldn't talk to them because they all hated me. Speaking of hated people, hi Pam. I went shopping last night and picked up a void salmon on sale for only 150 gold. It was awful. No wonder Pierre was selling that junk for so cheap. Not the most original dialogue, but she did buy a void salmon, so Pierre is always happy to practice his shady business practices. Well, let's check his stock to see exactly what he did purchase. Uh, void mayonnaise, void egg, void salmon. I don't really know the price of any of these, but people did buy hundreds of them overnight. So, cool. Let's go see what they think about that. Doctor, did you try any of my poisonous products? Hey mums, so I stopped by Pierre's the other day and bought a void egg. It was the first time I've seen one of those there in a while. When has he ever sold those? I cooked that up for dinner last night and it filled the house with a filling smell. It was a hit. With who? You live by yourself. I'm glad Pierre's stock is starting to expand again. Yeah, me too. We never got Alex's opinion before. Hey, so I picked up a void mayonnaise at the store last night. Grandma made her special casserole. Oh, that sounds wonderful. And the air is starting to warm up. I'm feeling pumped. He lost his train of thought. Void casserole sounds good. You probably didn't even notice because you're old. Hey, mumps. So I stopped by Pierre's the other day. Uh, yeah, I cooked it up and it filled the house with a filling smell. Okay, not a lot of real good dialogue coming through here. I just realized we never tried Gus. Gus is a merchant we can buy and sell food from. Clint probably likes void stuff. He probably lost his taste buds years ago from being a blacksmith. I went shopping last night and picked up a fresh void salmon for only 150 gold. That's amazing. It was awful. No wonder Pierre was selling that junk for so much. Well, it's a void egg. It's right there in the title. Elliot? Elliot? I saw that Pierre had a fresh void mayonnaise in his shop the other day. Marvelous. It smelled just perfect and firm too. Does that mean Elliot is, is a shadow person? Or a troll? Sometimes I wonder if I might just have an inflated self-image and no real skills. Elliot has become self-aware. No, no. I'm not fishing for compliments, though they are appreciated. I get you mixed up with Robin sometimes. Is that a compliment? Hey, mumps. So I stopped by Pierre's the other day. Haven't seen one. I cooked it up for dinner. A filling smell. No way. Uh, does he sell anything weird? He has fried eels, which isn't completely odd. But will he buy anything? And did he buy anything from Pierre's? It looked like you could use a beverage. Uh, yep, sure can. So let's try a forageable. We'll get a fish of some kind. And what else do we want to try? A crafting item and a crop. If you can't buy any of those, then we're pretty much out of options. Not sure if Shane remembers yesterday, but we can get his opinion on Pierre's produce. I went shopping last night and bought a void egg on sale for only 130 gold. Why is he getting cheaper? It was awful. Yeah, you're awful. You like talking to me? I guess I believe you. Maybe you're as weird as I am. No to all of the above. I hate these ideas that just don't work out. I try so hard, I really do. Uh, Emily got a void salmon and a delicious smell. Emily tried to serve me a fresh fried salmon for dinner last night. I threw it away when she wasn't looking. Probably the smartest thing you've ever actually done. I don't like health food. And I stand corrected. 
I forgot about Marnie entirely. She's also a merchant who might be able to buy things. She might be able to buy animal products, which would be interesting because then we can try a whole bunch of different things. And of course, Marnie's not here because why would she be? Tomorrow, we're gonna try Marnie. And another thing we haven't really tried are the artisan and cooking items. Maybe if we give everyone some cactus fruit wine, they're gonna love it because it's something I made. I have a giant melon or two out here. Marnie, it's 9 a.m. on a Monday. Where are you going? Well, I guess there's always Tuesday. Oh wait, Marty's not there either, so I guess we're gonna try Wednesday and hopefully she's actually at her job. Finally, here we go. Marnie, will you buy some stuff? Oh, she will buy milk. This opens a few more doors. Will Pierre take Marnie's stuff and will he claim it as his own? One thing we're gonna do though is skip about a year. That way we run all the old produce out of town because we're still gonna get people talking about the void stuff for ages. So we're actually gonna skip a full year. A quick one year later and we're ready to start this end of the experiment. Marnie, get to work. Buy my milk. Tomorrow we're going to see if Pierre has stolen that stuff. I couldn't help but notice there's an awful lot of dishonesty in this family. Scrolling to the bottom, large milk, he does take Marnie's stuff. How is it that you always end up with other people's produce? Does Abigail look anything like me? Don't tell my wife, but sometimes I wonder if I'm really the father. You're not. I already deduced that. A Abigail, did you drink my milk? Ah, uh, I have a doctor's appointment later. Did you drink my milk though? That's probably why you have a doctor's appointment. Did no one drink the milk? Oh mumps, this is embarrassing. I threw one of your large milks you sold this into my compost bin. That is not how you really compost. But on the bright side, the worms are loving it. Okay, well here we go again. Apparently people don't like my milk either. Hey, so I picked up a large milk at the store last night. My mom wanted something good for dinner and... Doesn't anyone actually enjoy my milk? Well, my dad is back. Have you met him? He's the fishing guy, right? I'm just glad he's okay. Yeah, I was really worried about him. Child, did you like my milk? You're not as boring as most grown-ups. And you're more annoying than the typical child. Jody? Hi. Did you sell a large milk to the general store the other day? I think I bought it. And? It was pretty high quality stuff. As soon as I smelled it, I was back at Granny's old cottage. So, wait. You know my milk is good quality. Pierre didn't take credit for it for once. Maybe he's finally learning. Where does all the time go? Sigh. Maybe when it comes to animal products, Pierre knows he can't swing it because obviously he doesn't have any cows in his shop. I bought the tastiest large milk from Pierre's shop the other day. He said he found it himself. Okay, never mind. Pierre is still Pierre. Are you friends with my son? Uh, the one sitting under the tree, right? You probably know him better than I do, obviously. Wait, what does Marty think of the milk she probably bought from Pierre? Hey, mumps. So I stopped by Pierre's the other day and bought a large milk. It was the first time I've seen one of those there in a while. Weird. How did that get there? I cooked it up for dinner last night. It filled the house with a satisfying smell. It was a hit. There's not really a lot to make sense here anymore. It was revolting. No wonder Pierre was selling that junk so cheap. Revolting, he says. Penny, do you like my milk? Penny doesn't have anything to say. Alex, before you get too far away, you probably like milk, right? If you want to make friends with my grandpa, I don't. But I want to hear his opinion. I went shopping last night. Large milk. It was revolting. Okay, no one likes my milk. Does the produce make it as far as Sandy's shop? Nope. What are you doing in here? You can't afford things. I saw that Pierre had fresh large milk in a shop the other day. Marvelous. It was just perfect and firm. Yeah, that good firm milk. I'm just really curious now at this point to see if anyone says anything about wine. Say a redeemed quality starfruit wine. Hugely valuable. Very hard to produce. Is there going to be any special dialogue with such a special item? Probably not, but we're going to find out. No one ever likes my stuff because apparently I can't produce anything good. Pam should appreciate wine though. Uh, she got milk instead. Pam, do you know there's wine there? Well, first of all, let's see if Pierre is selling the wine and what it's selling for. Yes, 9,000 gold each for one starfruit wine. So apparently restarting the game doesn't wipe the inventory clear. I thought it would. It seemed to work earlier, but I've just restarted the entire game and we still have the same stuff for sale. Though so people are still going to be talking about the milk over my wine because apparently it's more entertaining. Pam, there's no conceivable way you haven't bought the alcohol from Pierre's shop. Large milk still. Someone buy the wine. Finally, we have someone. Emily tried to serve me a starfruit wine for dinner last night. I threw it away when she wasn't looking. Well, that was an awfully expensive thing to throw away. But that shows that people can and will buy the starfruit wine and they treat it like any other item. So that was a fun experiment. Time well spent. So I stopped by Pierre's store, bought a starfruit wine, haven't seen one in a while. It was a satisfying smell. It was a hit. Okay, Emily uh, made starfruit wine. She thought it was a hit. Haley disagrees. Willy, before you get too far away, what did you buy? Nothing. Nothing? Hi, did you sell a starfruit wine to the general store the other day? I think I bought it. Wow, aren't you fancy? It was pretty high quality stuff. I'm impressed. Well, yep, typical answers. 
Today we learned that Pierre will take any products from anyone he possibly can, and the townsfolk all treat them pretty much the same. That's it. Okay, bye.